on the one hand, there are many philosophers who, in the Foucault generation, if such an expression can make any sense, have chosen a more radical option. Since it was a question of uh, putting an end to Hegelian history, why not put an end uh, to history itself? This option, which was, if I may say, akin to throwing the baby out with the bathwater, is, for example, surprisingly visible in the work of two uh, philosophers with uh, whom Foucault is often associated in the name of a kind of family resemblance. Uh, on the one hand, in Gilles Deleuze, for whom the place of history is permanently stretched between the propensity to evacuate history and the necessity of preserving time as a dimension both of becoming and of the event. And on the other hand, in Jacques Derrida, it seems to me, moreover, that by following this hypothesis of reaction as a guiding principle to reconstitute the various lines of thought that cross-cut French philosophy after uh, 45, we could also add other names, of course, uh, which for reasons of time I will do not develop in a different way, those of Jacques Rancière uh, uh, or uh, of uh, Alain Badiou and, and others. Deleuze um, and the project of a thought entirely turned against history or devised in spite of history. It's actually a difficult game. On the one hand, we find the explicit subversion of historical determinations. This uh, rather handsome strategic uh, uh, wager to which one must voluntarily submit oneself. And here I'm thinking of the very strange uh, counter dating of the chapters of the Mille Plateau, Thousand Plateau. Uh, uh, each of, of, of them is a date, begins with a date, uh, which of course is not chronological. Uh, but on the other hand, there is the need in Deleuze to nonetheless to preserve something as a dimension of becoming uh, and of course of the event as, um, oh, it's a problematic uh, notion, a power for eruption and for opening. Power here is puissance and you have one word, uh, the French has two and the Latin too, puissance et pouvoir, uh, potentia et potestas and I'm referring to puissance uh, in, in Deleuze. This uh, dimension will be, uh, it seems to me, the dimension of time and not of history. Hence, uh, the double analysis of the distinct lines of Kronos and Ion in the logic of sense, because the Ion is neither historical, neither the, the historical nor the eternal, nor the perpetual, but, uh, says Deleuze, the temporal plane of becomings, of events, and of uh, meaning. What happens breaks, what happens breaks insofar as it happens with the past. It does not belong to history and cannot be explained by history. This is an idea to which Deleuze never returned, I think. I, I quote here one of the texts uh, published in the volume entitled, I think in English, Negotiations pour parler. Um, uh, but one could cite so many others. I quote Deleuze, becomings are not the same thing as history at all. Even structural history thinks in terms of past, present, and future. Uh, if we have been so interested in nomads, it is because they are a becoming and are not part of history, end of quote. 